Good evening and welcome to Orca News. The headlines. President Lim Sun will be having a speech in a few moments. Ex-Hurricane Sam now battering Landova. Camp Spalia to be abandoned. And the updates on the road work projects. The health department still reported no new COVID-19 cases in Landova. There are now 2,690 total administered doses of the vaccine. 2,412 have been partially vaccinated and 278 are fully vaccinated from the coronavirus. Phases 1, 2, 3, and 4 are still eligible for vaccination at this point. COVID-19 alert levels are still imposed throughout Landova. Closure is imposed in Landova except in Loveheart Village and White Tone Village. Camp Spalia is subject to be decommissioned and be demolished. The land area of Camp Spalia which is under the jurisdiction of Flathills Village will remain in place. The surrounding area of Camp Spalia goes through Commerce Valley Terraces Village. The village planners and coordinators are proposing that they would interconnect Flathills Village and Commerce Valley Terraces Village. Residential buildings are planned to be established on the bank skirts of the river. The camp administrator has agreed upon giving up the land use of Camp Spalia. A short backstory about Camp Spalia. The camp was initially used for military purposes. The camp served as the training ground for indigenous guerrillas against tribal forces along the east side of Landova. Then the camp was replaced and served as a protective camping site for travelers and campers in which not much has been pleased with the scenery. It was abandoned for some time until now they've decided to demolish and decommission the said camp. We're now having a live broadcast of President Lim Sun who will be delivering a press conference at this hour. Good evening dear Landovians. I am humbly grateful to speak and deliver the message the national government initiated us. We are bound for great expectations. We are bound for the goodness we will have. To make this quick, I would like to say that we are on right track. Right track in our economy, in infrastructure, and in the projects that we are dealing with. In terms of the pandemic, we did well, we have cured 94% of all infected Landovians. I humbly say yet again our condolences to the ones who lived and fought to make this go through. In terms of the vaccination, we might be eased enough to get this targeted herd immunity. But we are taking measures in the vaccination process. So please dear Landovians, take the vaccine as soon as possible if you're eligible to receive the vaccine. We have seen a slight decrease in the vaccination progress, not much has been vaccinated but we're still trying our best to look forward to the vaccine. We are not mandating vaccination, thus you have the rights and we are heavily encouraging you to be vaccinated. Moving on, we have lifted COVID-19 alert levels in some places in Landova. We have imposed closure throughout Landova except in the places of Lubherd and White Tone Village. This means that if a closure is imposed, you are allowed to go out but leaving the city or village is monitored and been partially restricted. Moving on once again. Our cabinet has decided to lift travel restrictions in and out of Landova only for fully vaccinated individuals. We are imposing partial travel restrictions parenthesis vaccinated individuals only parenthesis in all countries effective from tomorrow until October 31st. We are still yet to decide for individuals who have not been vaccinated but we are not encouraging those for it is still risky. Furthermore, I will be giving more updates about the travel restrictions tomorrow. Another topic that I want to address is the expanded road work projects. We are improving the streets of Landova for your safety and ease in traveling. The villages of Old Massa, Flathills Village are already done in the road touring projects. Next will be Plainsfield City and Frostlay Village for the expanded road works project. I have noticed that most of these projects cannot be done within this year. 
and I am hoping that these will be completed by the end of my term. It is worthwhile to address what is happening to this nation. By December, we're gonna have our campaigning for the next elections in which we have amended that a presidential term will be two years long in the next elections. I'll be looking forward to that successor of mine. I am now announcing that I will not be running again for the next elections. Why if you may ask? It is relatively unconstitutional to run again for which I would have manipulated the constitutional rights of a president. The second is that I would like to serve in different sectors. I might be running again for mayor in Plainsfield City who knows. I'm not final in my decision to be running mayor again. Rest assured, we will keep serving you as long as we can. That's it for now, dear Landovians. Good evening and thank you dear Landovians. And that was President Limson's press conference. He stated that he will not be running again for president in the next elections because he stated that it is unconstitutional for the president's rights. He also stated that travel restrictions are partially lifted in all countries. Only fully vaccinated individuals are permitted to travel in and out of Landova from tomorrow until October 31st. Here's our weather for tomorrow. X Hurricane Sam is now affecting Landova with storm force winds. The Landova Meteorological Agency issued an orange weather warning for storm force winds of 89 to 102 km per hour in the whole country. A storm warning has also been issued caused by Sam. As of 5 a.m., X Hurricane Sam was located 770 km west of Landova with sustained winds of 120 km per hour, and gustiness of 150 km per hour. Sam will be affecting the whole country today until tomorrow evening. Here are our updates on the expanded roadworks project. Most of the streets in the Plainsfield City Residential District have been tarred. A bridge connecting Old Massa Village and Flathills Village has been demolished and will be replaced by an elevated walkway. The Interice Tunnel in Old Massa Village will also be demolished and be replaced. Here's our Orca fact for today. Did you know that Orcas value sharing and are generous? Female Orcas share all the fish they catch, mostly with their offspring. Male Orcas only share their food about 15% of the time, usually with their mothers. Orca pods need enough food so they can stick together, and help feed each other. And that's it for today's news. This is Lewis Barnes. Reporting for Orca News. Good evening everyone.